Hello everyone, this is Shuram from LearnAccount with another video on industrial automation. In this video, I will walk you through the complete process of downloading and installation of TIA Portal version 20, which is the Siemens powerful engineering software for automation projects. If you have decided to learn TIA Portal, this video is the perfect starting point for you. I will guide you through everything you need to get started. By the end of this video, you will have TI Portal version 20 up and running on your system, ready for your first automation project. Before we dive into the installation, let's go over what we will cover in this video. First, I will show you where to find the TI Portal version 20 package. Then, we will review the system requirements to make sure your PC is ready. Next, I will guide you through unpacking the ISO file, followed by detailed installation steps. And finally, we will activate the 21 day trial license so you can start using TI Portal right away. Let's get started. Okay, open your browser and in the address bar type in supportindustriesiemens.com. That will open the Siemens central repository for all software tools, application examples, manual, product notes, and many others. Today, we want to download a trial version of TIA Portal. So I'm going to type in, in the search box, TIA, and automatically it gives me the latest version, which is version 20. So I'm going to type in A20 trial. And here we go. I can see the phrase for what I'm looking for. Okay, here I get a listing of all the entries relevant to TI Portal version 20. Make sure to take a look at the labels for each entry. The entries that have a download label contain some files that are downloadable. So the first entry here is what we are looking for. Schematic is step 7, including safety, PLC SIM, and VNCC version 20 trial download. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. And here is what I'm looking for. Download the step 7 basic, professional, VNCC basic, advanced, professional, and unified. So all different flavors of VNCC. I can also see PLC SIM version 20, which is the simulator for Schematic S7 series. So let's focus on the step 7 part. The software package has been structured in two DVDs, DVD1 and DVD2. DVD number one contains all the software tools we need for PLC and HMI programming. And DVD number two contains some hardware libraries and additional software tools. So I'm going to click on this link to get the download started. It is going to ask me to log in. That's very similar to any other software provider to be able to download you need to register, create an account, and log in. So if you have already an account on the Siemens website, please log in. Otherwise, you can use this link to create one account. So here I'm going to click on continue and log in. I can see that my download has been automatically started. Okay, now you know where to find the software package and how to download it. Now I'm going to show you what are the system requirements in terms of hardware and operating system. So I'm going to click on the first tab and I will filter these entries for product notes. So if you scroll down and on the left panel, uncheck all and then select product notes. The second entry contains the product notes for the TI Portal version 20. So I'm going to click on this. So here I can find the detailed description of TI Portal version 20. It explains all the software packages that are included in the TI Portal version 20. Step 7, VNCC safety, drive configuration, and many others. So our focus is on the PLC programming. So I'm going to click on the delivery release for Simatic Step 7 version 20. So here it details all the new features that has been introduced with Step 7 version 20. If you scroll down, at some point close to the bottom, you're going to find the system requirements. So let me zoom in here. So in terms of computer, Siemens recommends its own industrial PC. However, you can install this software package 
on any PC that is compatible with the proposed requirements here. So just keep in mind that TI Portal consumes a lot of resources from PC. So you need a processor at least in the grade of i5 or higher, multi-threads, a lot of cache memory, and high frequency. So i7 is more recommended. In terms of RAM, the minimum is 16 GB. However, 32 or even 64 is recommended. In terms of hard disk, I strongly recommend do not go with mechanical hard disk because it's going to be super slow. Definitely go with SSD hard disk having at least 50 GB of free space. And in terms of display, make sure to go with a high res monitor. And I suggest to go with the monitor of size 24 inch or even higher. You can see that here they recommended a full HD display, minimum 15.6 inch. From the operating system standpoint, version 20 is compatible with Windows 10 and Windows 11. And you can find different flavors here. To use the full capacity of TI Portal version 20, you need at least Windows 10 Professional. On the home version, you can only install the TI Portal Basic. Okay, the downloading has been completed, and now I'm gonna open my file explorer and look at the downloaded file. We have downloaded the software package in a format of ISO file. ISO is a disk image file, and to use it, you either need to burn it on a DVD or mount it as a drive. However, since ISO file is kind of like a zip file, I prefer to use file packing tools to unzip this. Here I'm going to use WinRAR. So I'm going to right click on this file, select WinRAR and extract it. When the unpacking is completed, you can find a, a start.exe file in the folder. You can start installation using this file. Just make sure to right click on it and select run as administrator to ensure that it goes through with the required access rights. And before the installation goes through, it asks you to restart your computer. To avoid losing any work in progress, make sure to save and close your open applications and then click on the restart. After the initialization is completed, you're going to see this screen. So pretty straightforward. We pick the language next. In case you have the previous version of uh, TA portal in your machine, you're going to see modify upgrade which is the case for me. Otherwise, you're going to see a different entry here, but that's the one that we're going to pick and is chosen by default. Next. Product language default is English. Next. Here is just some information about the WinCC runtime. We can skip it. Next. And more details on this screen. You have three options for your installation, minimal, typical, and user-defined. And you see that the user-defined has been chosen. In the user define, you have the option to pick and choose the packages you want. I suggest to stay with the default, which is typically the best option. If you are familiar with what you want, you can customize this selection. You can also choose on which drive you want to install the software. And here I have only one, so that's the one is selected. So I'm going to click next. Here is just the confirmation for license agreement and some security information. So check two boxes here. Next. And now I can proceed with the installation. Depends on the performance of your machine. It may take something between 20 to 30 minutes to complete the installation. Okay, installation is complete and I will click on finish to exit. I can see the TI portal icon has been added on my desktop. So I can double click on it to start the application. Okay, congrats, you have installed the TA portal successfully. Our last step in this video is to activate the trial license. So let's see how we can do that. Before that, you need to know how the licensing is done in the Siemens world. To manage licenses, TI portal has installed a tool called Automation License Manager. You should be able to find the icon on the desktop. Okay, here it is, Automation License Manager. I'm going to double click and open this software tool. If I have any license installed on this machine, it's going to be listed here per drive. So right now you see I don't have any license. So how I can activate the trial license then? That will happen after you're creating your first project. So let's get back to TI Portal. So I'm going to proceed with creating a new project. I'm going to proceed with the default name. 
click on create so it's creating file and folder for the project usually it takes longer on the first try but after that it's going to be faster okay now i can configure a device so i'm going to click on add new device and from this drop down list i'm going to pick a 1500 series plc so i go with the first cpu doesn't matter which one and bingo i get the window for activating the license it reports no valid license key was found and it offers you a trial license which is valid for 21 days so i'm going to pick the step 7 professional and click on activate and then it allows me to pick and choose a plc and then it allows me to pick and choose a cpu okay the rest is not the focus of this video just to confirm the license has been activated i'm going to switch back to automation license manager and here if i refresh the screen i can see that there is an active license here which is valid for 21 days and the type is trial okay there we go we have successfully downloaded installed and activated the trial license for ti portal version 20. i hope that helps you with your first step in learning ti portal if you enjoyed watching this video to support please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you in the next one